Leo, come on in, put your feet up, make yourselves at home. My name is Jen Dawson, welcome to Jen TV. All right, Leo, this is your timeless love reading. <laughs> this was my grandma's. I found it in my jewelry box today. I'm like, I gotta wear that today. That's just so good. All right, Leo, this is your timeless love reading. Bear in mind, my these are general reasons. It's not going to resonate with all of you, but if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want to watch extended videos. There's also a link to my website if you want to book a private reading. The only way to get a legitimate reading from me is if you go to my website, jedtvtarot.com, or just click the link below. Any other way, like if I come to you, or if I'm, I'm up in your DMs, your emails, or or down there in the comments below, that's not me. That's somebody trying to scam you, so don't fall for it. You come to me via that link, and that way you know it's legitimate. It will be me. Yeah, I get it. You've been through a lot. I see that. You've been through a lot. And through the things that you've been through, you've kind of figured out over a little bit of time what you want and definitely what you don't want, which has helped you now draw a line. Draw a line in the sand. This is your boundary. Mm. And if anybody crosses it, they're not welcome. And in setting those boundaries for yourself, you kind of made a little discovery. You've got options. Perhaps you didn't sort of really realize that before, but now you can date. Now you can meet people and you got options. You don't like, you see a little red flag there. They kind of try and cross your boundary there. Hmm. I'll date somebody else then. They were hot. Yes. Granted, they were very hot, but they were unkind to a waiter or they spoke to you in a way that was just like, did you just neg me? Did I just, did I just see a neg? Sorry, wrong eye. <laughs> did I just get a neg? You realize now you can sort of pick and choose. You've got options now that you've set your boundaries. You bought me dinner, whoop de do. That doesn't mean you can sleep with me. Sorry, that's, that's rather old fashioned of me, but to say you bought me dinner, not that you can't sleep with me. But that's the thing. You know, you go out on a date and people are automatically assume like, right, well now we can sleep with each other. Mm, no. This is called shopping. I'm shopping for my next mate. I'm looking at my options. You're not one of them. I was just looking at my palace Santo and making sure it wasn't still burning. <laughs> so it still really strongly smell Palo Santo. So what do you need to know right now? You're definitely, it's good. You're going through a healing process now. This is, this is the time where, look, your heart's still very full. You just got to take these swords out and let each one of these wounds heal from the past. You know, it's, it takes time. You go into a shop, you don't buy the first thing you see, you shop around a bit. Does it fit? Take it into the changing room, you know, does it fit? 
do I really want to spend that much money on this? You know, so don't be, be as choosy with your partner. Do they fit? Can you really see yourself snuggling on the sofa with this person? And then the sexy stuff, you know. Can you see yourself? If not, then don't rush things. Set your boundaries. And that's what you're doing. You're like, this line in the sound. Be crossing it. I think that you're a little bit worried about Time marches on. I hear you. Although time doesn't really exist. I know to a woman, there's a certain amount of time where you can have kids. Yes. So if that's the case, time marches on for you. Yes. I think that that's one of your concerns. I don't think it needs to be though. Tell me why. The Ace of Wands here. Because you're manifesting in your. I knew this was coming. I I I didn't even look at it, and I was like, I know that's the. I just I knew it. Your wand is coming in, the one you're manifesting. The, your one true love. Your that's coming in. So don't worry. I watches on you. Don't worry about it. It's just time. Well, let's move on to what's coming up in the near future. Decisions, all right? Conflicts going on here, decisions, conflicts, choices, fast movement. Things are moving too quickly for you in the near future. But you have options, so, you know, as much as you've got time, a certain amount of time to get things done, don't rush things. Make sure whoever you're choosing is the right fit. But I need to do it now is what you're saying. If, if that's the case, I need to do this now. Again, if it's the wrong person, then no, you don't. Trust me. Best you can hope for if you rush things. We've got justice in reverse. It's not. That's not good. Just in. I can't get my words out. Justice in reverse is like this. It's. It's not fair. It's. It's. It's a kind of person who who never like holds himself accountable for their bad behaviour. So if you're rushing into something because you feel like you're running out of time for something, you're going to be kind of rushing into something with somebody who's never wrong. Like, you get in a fight with them and, and it's, it's like, well, you're the one who did this. Gaslight! I don't know, I, I, I sort of feel like rushing things with someone who's, yeah, with justice in reverse as well, that's about dishonesty. And so my illumination went out. But this is about someone who's dishonest as well. I just feel like you, what you want, I understand you want what you want, but don't rush things. It's not the right person. And it's not even about, like, maybe it's not even about meeting goalposts. Maybe it's, it's about that you've been alone for a long time and you're, you don't want to be alone anymore and time marches on in that way but you're manifesting in your person so don't just jump into anything with anyone your person's coming you don't want to miss the boat with your person if you're already in something else with somebody else take your time I 
I sort of feel like if you do jump into something with the wrong person, your person will see that and just be like, oh, well, and move on. Kind of give up. Pay attention to red flags, my loves. So let's take a look at the outcome here. We've got the hangman. Swinging in the breeze. This person isn't crucified. This person's put themselves there. They're an acrobat. They're hanging there because they want to. They're swinging in the breeze, waiting for, you know, the wind to change. Or to see something from a different perspective. What does that look like? Or just for fun. They're hanging and they're waiting for the right thing to come along. Okay? So that's the outcome. It's saying, be patient and wait. This is coming. You're manifesting it in. So, be patient. Tell me more about the outcome here. Yeah, don't rush in. Only fools rush in. Take your, you, you've set your boundaries. This is what the Queen of Swords is about. It's in reverse, you, it's, well, the Queen of Swords in general. It's about having high boundaries, not letting people cross you, not letting people in who aren't worthy of you and your true greatness. I got the fool in reverse. Like, look before you leap. Don't just. Don't rush into things. This is coming, right? This is coming. I'm going to take it into the extent of where I'm going to ask, when is your true love coming? When? How long are you going to have to wait? Do you already know them? And if you do, then I'll ask, how do they feel about you? What are their intentions towards you? And what do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. But let's pull some. This is my birthday presents from my friend Neil. Fitness. Give me a bit of clarification on that. I think that that's kind of talking about your your intuition, balanced spirituality and pra practicality. I think it's about your intuition. And paying attention to those red flags if you see them. Is this really your person, you know? Or are you just lonely and you want somebody to fit? Your person's coming. You are good enough, okay? And your love look for the day is... The beast inside of me is gonna get you, get you, get. Love you to death by typo negative. And I'm gonna pull you on my new card today. It was a lovely little deck. Um, actually, where's the box? I don't know what it's called. It's a lovely deck. Uh, it's this one. Birthday present. This is my birthday next week. My birthday present from my friend Neil. I have some lovely friends. I would say that that's very relevant. Not the right time. Wait. Hold on. They're coming. The right one. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. Thank you. Goodbye.